Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, we are back taking a look at the Manufacturer Series. Uh, it's round four, uh, Group 3 cars at Sardinia Road Course C2, uh, which is the reverse layout. We have fuel consumption at times two, tyre wear at times ten. 27 laps, uh, it's a fairly short course. And a tyre requirement that we must run the hard tyre with the soft, medium and hard all available to use. So as ever, uh, the first thing we shall take a look at is a uh, hybrid tyre selection. Although maybe not for much longer as there is rumour that uh, the hybrid tyres are going to be outlawed in races and a coming update and it's seen as a glitch by PD. Anyway, first for we're trying here, I, mean, I knew this wasn't really going to work, was to try using the racing softs on the front with the racing hards on the rear. Uh, the car was always going to be very tricky to handle uh, in the circumstances and you've seen very quickly I went off the track twice in two quarters in succession, so at least for MR cars I'm going to rule out using the softs on the front and the hards in the rear, it's just too tricky. So what I'm finding probably the best solution in using the hybrid tyres to get rid of the hard tyre early is to put the hards on the front and the softs on the rear. This makes the car very stable and gives you very good traction out of the corners. Uh, in comparison to the hard tyres, just running the hard tyres alone, it's about uh, three to four tenths per lap and sometimes up to about half a second of an advantage. So very much uh, worth doing. Uh, I spent uh, about an hour just trying various different combinations on the Citroen and the racing hards on the front with the sauce on the rear was definitely the, the most ideal solution that I found. It's a bit of a case of risk versus reward. I think you could maybe try the racing mediums in the front with the racing hards in the rear with the Citroen. But again, I think you're going to suffer too many oversteady moments uh, to make it worthwhile. And whilst you may well just be able to get a quicker lap time if you do enough laps, I think the much safer option is the hards in the front and the softs in the rear for that, certainly on MR cars anyway. We also did take a look at an FR car. We've got this Corvette on screen and then the racing softs in the front and the racing hards on the rear. Uh, much less of an issue in terms of oversteer. Uh, with a, an FR car, but it's going to uh, change from car to car anyway. On the screen we've got the Corvette running the reverse hybrid with the hards on the rear and the softs, sorry, the hards on the front and the softs on the rear, and running uh, either combination with the, the Corvette brings in a pretty similar lap time. But it's slightly faster with the softs on the front, but again, there's, it's that risk versus reward. Uh, and quite a lot of risk for not a huge reward to be perfectly honest with you. Now you may not know this but if you go into the car setup screen and fiddle about with uh, changing different tyre combinations it actually changes the stats so you can see what uh, is meant to be a result of running different tyre combinations. But in short if you run a softer tyre on the rear of the car compared to the hard it increases the stability uh, you'll get better acceleration and probably slightly better uh, cornering and braking. But uh, as we said previously, it's that lack of stability with the hybrids when you've got a softer tyre on the front compared to the where you can actually find all the lap time because uh, you're just able to get the front of the car into the corner quicker and therefore get on the power. So that's the hybrid tyres. What I would do recommend for using hybrid tires is just spend half an hour fiddling about and finding out how your car reacts to different combinations and uh, what's best for your car and driving style because it will vary from car to car, from drivetrain to drivetrain and from drive, uh, driving style to driving style. So it's well worth spending a wee 30 minutes just finding out what's best for you. So moving on to some strategy runs now. Uh, this first run we're doing here, uh, we are on the, the hybrid combination for the first stint of the hard tyre on the front and the soft tyre on the rear and we're going to do a two stopper. 
So we're going to now just go on to a set of soft tyres. Uh, you can see the degradation on the rear tyres there coming in for this pit stop pretty high. Yeah. And I'm finding that the best, uh, the most you kind of get is about 10 laps on a set of soft tyres. After about 7-8 laps, uh, you're starting to struggle, you can kind of soldier on for another couple of laps and stretch out a stint to about 10 laps. So coming back in again, we've done a 9 lap stint this time, we're going to put on another set of soft tyres. Uh, with the car being a little bit lighter on fuel, uh, tyre wear should be a little bit less of an issue on this last stint. But even so, saying that, Come the end of the race, uh, once we jump forward a little bit, you'll see the lap times have uh, gone up, but a good half a second to six tenths between the first flying lap and the last flying lap. So we don't actually set an absolutely fantastic lap on this last stint, we should be in at least setting a couple of laps into the 51s when the car is this light and we're on the softest tyres, but it's a very tricky little track. Uh, it's very easy to make uh, very small mistakes lap after lap. Every corner holds its own little danger, so even though it's only a 50 to 53 second lap, it's, uh, it's very technical and I think you see a lot of, a lot of errors throughout the races with, uh, from drivers. So coming up here to complete the last lap, uh, we'll get a wee look at the finishing time. So this is a two stopper, start on the hybrids with the racing softs on the rear and the racing hards on the front to uh, use up that tyre requirement. We did 10 laps like that, we then did 9 laps on the softs and a stint of 8 laps on the softs to finish. And that was my, so far as my best finishing time that was on the screen there is at 23.59.5. Now if you happen to qualify in front, you may not want to risk running the hybrids uh, tyres, you maybe just want to escape out there, put on the softest compounds, create a gap and then use that hard tyre at the end and see if you can hold on. And I think at, if you're starting in the first uh, few rows of the grid, maybe the top six, this could be a good way to go. So stopping there on lap 10, uh, and we moved on to another set of soft tyres, we did a slightly shorter stint that time, we pitted on lap 18, and then moved on to the hard tyres, and here we are coming to the end of this run, so we went soft, soft, hard, uh, you can see there though, that the hard tyre, even at this stage of the race, when we're lighter on fuel, is a good second a lap slower than the soft tyre. So, I think you will be holding on uh, against anybody on the soft tyre at the end, if you happen to run this strategy. Certainly for the first 3-4 laps, if they sort of pit at a similar time, but as the stint goes on, the soft tyres will degrade. Uh, and that sort of difference in lap time will decrease lap on lap, uh, such as the, the high tyre wear in this race. So there we go, a different way of doing the uh, two-stop strategy, and we never used any hybrid tyres there, and we're just, what, 2.3 seconds slower. Now, this uh, race has a very uh, short Pit stop, sorry, I'll spit it out eventually. A very short pit stop, so only about seven, seven and a half seconds cost. Because of that, uh, and the high tyre degradation, the free stopper can uh, may just work. So, this first stint there, we're just going to pit on lap four. We started on the, the hybrid combination, the hards in the front and softs in the rear, so that's us now getting rid of the hard tyre, and we're just now going to do three stints of how many laps have we got left, 23 laps, so we're going to do stints of six, seven laps, that's a lie actually, we're going to do stints of about seven, eight laps, just on the soft tyres, uh, and just because, as I said, the, the pit time pretty short and the degradation pretty high, the free stopper 
doesn't come in too far away from the two stopper but of course you're going to be dealing with a little bit of traffic if you happen to do this strategy there's certainly more traffic so it'll be all about whether you're able to exploit the tyre performance we are coming to the finish line this is we went racing soft racing hard at the beginning for four laps and then we did stints of seven eight laps on the soft tyre and as the finishing time comes up it's a 24.03.2 now I know for a fact there's at least two seconds lost in that run to the AI car that was on the track so again coming in very close uh, a similar finishing time to the two stopper and we shall take a very very brief look at trying to do a one stop so what we did is uh, we're doing the first stint here on the racing hard tyres the uh, racing hard tyre is slow but it is consistent so well it doesn't uh, even for the first 12 laps it's a sort of lap time difference between my best lap and that lap uh, hardly losing any lap time whatsoever but we came in on lap 14 and we put on a set of mediums and we now run to the end uh, the mediums were good for sort of laps in the mid 52s initially but yeah, as you can see the degradation has been pretty high on the mediums and we're now into the mid 53s by the end of the run so that run they are coming in a good 9 seconds slower than the best 2 stopper that I've managed so I would rule out the 1 stopper as being an option and for that reason obviously no stopping on the hard tyres you could do it, you only have to use the hard tyres uh, but you're going to be nowhere absolutely nowhere so I think this one boils down to a uh, 2 stopper uh, how you run that 2 stopper is going to depend on several things, it's going to depend on your car, it's going to depend on where you qualify uh, and it may well depend on whether the hybrid tyres happen to get ruled out on the update that is due to drop on the 28th I believe when Laguna Seca comes now I think if that happens and you have to run the hard tyre alone and you can't sort of run it with a, a softer compound uh, and gain some lap time advantage that way the free stopper might just come into play a little bit more uh, I still think the optimal strategy just through not having to deal with traffic etc will be the two stopper but it will be interesting So that's, uh, that's my conclusions, I'm pretty sure this one's a two stopper, it's a hard one to really kind of get everything down strategy wise, and you've got three different tyres to use, you've got hybrid compounds available and some cars can use the hybrid compounds in different ways. So it's definitely one to get out there and get some practice in for, uh, as I said a very tricky little track as well easy to make mistakes. So I hope there's been some useful information in this video to help you formulate a strategy. Uh, one thing I've not mentioned is uh, there's no fuel saving required in this one whatsoever. People will be happy to hear. As I said, hope the video's been helpful. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye now.